Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to take a look at this new little RC boat from DRC. This is, as you can see, the DE819 or 819. And it's, they call it the sparkling. It's basically, it's gimmick is, it's got a bunch of really cool LED lights. Now you can't see those until you get them in the water because it has these little contacts up here, uh, it's actually towards the rear. Then that's actually those two little uh, silver little, uh, look like nail heads. Those will make contact with the water and that actually allows it to complete a circuit and it allows the lights not only to come on, but it allows the boat to power up. That way, if you're out and about, you don't accidentally hit the throttle and chop up your fingers when it's out of the water. So this is just twin prop. So there's not a rudder on the back. It's, it uses differential thrust here so that the propellers, you know, different thrust in each one to steer. So that's how you steer this boat. You just uh, twin little uh, brushed uh, motors in there. It uses a one cell lithium ion pack. I believe it was like 1200 milliamp. That's what it is. And it has a red JST plug and I have to use this little adapter that goes into this battery. That red JST plugs into the boat and it also is what the charger uses here. So you have to put this little adapter on. So make sure you just leave those on the batteries uh, so you don't lose these. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to charge or run the boat. And they give you a couple spare props here and a little tool and some screws and stuff like that in the bag. And you get a standard uh, style pistol grip controller. Now it has a couple uh, lights and trim here. You've got a function button, which I'll go over, and it takes four AA batteries down here in the bottom of your throttle. Um, we'll have to see, I'd imagine it has um, a little bit of reverse. Here's your power. But the function, one press will, is your light control. Probably just turns the lights on and off, but I don't know, it might change the pattern. I haven't been able to test the lights, as I said, because I can't power it until I get it in the water. Double clicking the function button, that will uh, change between low and high speeds. So we wanna make sure we ch test that. And then I believe it was a long press on it. That will um, do a, its anti-capsizing or its uh, self-riding. So I guess it will just alternate between the motors and make the boat rock if it's upside down until the boat goes back upright. That's at least what the instruction says there. I'll just show you here in the instructions where it shows the little diagram for that, just to double check to make sure we got it right. And it just long press to flip automatically. Double click for low and high. And single click for the light control. And then like I said, those other ones are your trimming buttons. So it's a pretty basic little boat. Um, these boats usually surprise you. They usually go a little faster than you would expect them to be. But the main thing about this is going to be those LED lights. As you can see here on the box, they of course have add a lot of effects to it to make it look a little more impressive. But this ought to be a fun little boat. You see ages eight and up. So this is like a beginner's boat, but it ought to be fun to drive around in my pool. So that's what I'm gonna do next. It's nighttime now. I wanna be able to really see those lights, but keep in mind that the boat and stuff may not show up real great besides the lights, just because it's so dark outside right now. But I think that'll really give us the effect of those lights. So let's get this boat out of my pool. So I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I'm out back next to the pool, and we're gonna get it in here in the water and show you how it lights up and then take it around for a test drive. So I just see it's pretty dark, but I got the pool lights on so we can see a little bit better. So I apologize, that's probably gonna be a pretty grainy video because of the low light. So let's just go ahead and set it in the water and I'll show you how the lights will power on. I'll just kind of look down here. And there you can see we've got a connection. It's made, completed that circuit with the anti, you know, the anti chop up your finger protect feature, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to drive it around here. Now, when you give it a steering, it's going to steer without even giving it throttle because that's using the differential thrust. So let's just go ahead and, and we should be in low. That moves along pretty decent. Not super fast, but again, we should be in low speed, I would hope. Looks pretty cool. Kids would definitely like this, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up because I don't know how well this is showing up with me sitting. I wanna make sure that we're getting the boat into view with my head cam. Let's just do the uh, quick press and see that turn the lights off. Yeah. Well, now they're flashing. So it did go to a different pattern. The instructions are a little unclear about that. Let's press it again. And now they've gone off. So. 
My first guess was kind of right. You're going to go to a different light pattern, a flashing, and then off. I'm going to go back to on all the time. I think that looks the best. And it steers pretty decent. You never know with these with differential thrust, you know, you don't expect it to steer as well as a boat with an actual functioning rudder on the back. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's try taking this up, hopefully into the higher speed. So we're gonna double click. Well, maybe we are, <laughs> I guess we were in the highest speed. I wasn't sure. I thought they'd start us out in the low speed, but they didn't. So, you know, I, I thought it was pretty quick to start out and that's because it was in the highest. So this is your low, boy, this is, this would be good for someone who's just starting out. Or if you have a really little pool and you don't want to bang into the sides of the walls of the pool. Yeah, this is uh, this is really slow. Let's go back up to the top, to the high speed, and that's much better. Yeah, this boat is perfect for you know a pool of this size or larger. It's not fast enough that you're going to damage anything. You're not going to poke holes in the liner by ramming the walls, which I've done with some bigger boats before. You always want to be aware of that. Let's see if we can test that anti-capsizing feature. Cause you know, you get one of these boats, even though this boat's not super expensive, you don't want to have it capsized if you do, would have it out in the lake. You know, the lights will go off now because we pulled it out of the water. So now if I give it throttle, we don't have to worry about chopping up our fingers. Now, I, the one thing I do wonder though, is if it's upside down, is it, does it have connections here on the top? Is it still gonna give us throttle or not? Because it mentions that, you know, they capsize. And we'll have to test it out here and see. So I'm kind of thinking that it might not work upside down. Let's see. Let me just get the head cam adjusted. So it's very heavy on my head. Let's put it in here. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do anything. So I'm not sure about that capsizing feature because if the boat flips on its upside down, then I don't see any contacts in the front and the boat's going to turn itself off. That's not good. Let's see what it does if we just put it that feature. Let's try that again. See that it, what now, now it did turn on. Okay. So maybe it does have contacts on the top and I'm just not seeing them very well because it's dark. Let's try that again. Yeah, it does turn on. Okay, good. I was hopeful that it did, but I was a little bit curious about that because I didn't look closely. Our lights are on now. So they did think of that. I was thinking, man, if they, did, if they uh, didn't include the safety contacts on the top and then the boat turns off and it flips upside down, it'd be bad. Now it is working. All right, good. So that does work. So let's just do that long press. And there it goes. And it looks like it did it a little longer because it doesn't know how long it's going to take it before it flips. The instruction mentions if it doesn't do it on the first try, repeat it a few times until it does self right. All right, so it does, everything works as advertised. I was a little worried there for a minute because I thought maybe it would capsize and then the boat wouldn't work. But you know what? How would they be able to test that even see if it works if I didn't have that, uh, the ability to run with it upside down? And since this boat is not really fast, and it's lightweight with that, even though it's a one cell, it's ought to run a decent amount of time. A lot of these really high power boats, especially the brushless ones, man, if you get five minutes out of some of those, you know, that's maybe all you'd expect, five to seven minutes before they're dead. Almost like a racing quad, they don't run real long. Very cool. During the daytime, those lights are not gonna be very visible. So you probably would just, uh, you can leave them on. You're not going to save much battery power, but you might just save a, you know, you might get an extra 20, 30 seconds of drive time if you turn them off in the daytime. All right, guys, I think that pretty much shows you all I can do. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to show you. You know, pull it out and the light should go off once it, once those contacts get dry. And there they are, once the water gets off of them. So yeah, pretty cool little boat. I'll include a uh, a purchase link down to this in the video description and the pinned comment. If there's any coupons on Amazon, be sure to clip those. Lots of times DRC will give me like a 10% off. So if I have a coupon code, I will include that as well uh, down in there for additional savings. So if you're new to the channel, guys, please consider clicking that uh, subscribe button. While you got it, click the bell. That way you're notified when I do upload new videos. And as always, guys, 
Have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, side, side.